What's going on, Vinyl Community? Welcome to another Sunboxing with the Record Spinner, as well as Happy New Year, since it is the first of the new year. In today's episode of the Sunboxing series, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Beach Boys Sail on Sailor 1972 vinyl box set. This is coming fresh off the heels of the Feel Flow set, which focused on uh, Sunflower and Surf's Up with a whole bunch of extra material. And now the good folks at Universal have followed suit with this set, which basically covers the tail end of what I feel was the Beach Boys' most creative period starting from the mid-60s up until this point. And we have two beloved albums in the Beach Boys canon featured in this set, which are Car Carl and the Passions and the Holland album, as well as a live show from Carnegie Hall. So before we get the shrink wrap off, here is the hype sticker here. And I'm going to read it off for you. It says... 5 LPs plus 7-inch EP, fully remastered versions, Holland and Carl and the Passions So Tough, includes original Mount Vernon and Fairway EP from Holland, previously unreleased legendary concert from Carnegie Hall in 1972, four additional bonus tracks, 36-page book featuring extensive liner notes, rare photos, and more. So let's get the shrink wrap off this bad boy and uh, slip on through this box set. See what I did there? Wrong album entirely from what's featured in this set, but you get the gist. If you're a Beach Boys fan, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, here we go. So here is the front of the box. Nice little collage of um, all the band members. And of course, as you see here, this includes uh, Blondie Chaplin and uh, Ricky Vitar, since they joined the fold here. Joined the Wilson Brothers, Love and Jardine. And it's a nice matte box, and we have a bit of spot varnish finish uh, with the band's name and the title of the set. And here is the spine. Nice bit of spot varnish there. And here's also the top of it here. Hopefully you can catch that. There you go. And then here is the back of the box, which has all the track lists for all the LPs featured in the set. And this is a hardbound slipcase type box. And as you see here, here are all the albums and the spines featured. So, let's take out the first LP here. And first up, we have Carl and the Passions, So Tough, extremely underrated record. You Need a Mess of Help to Stand Alone is fantastic. Marcella, All This Is That, Here She Comes. Great, great stuff. And as you can kind of tell on the back cover... They're really trying to work in Brian there since they kind of cut and pasted his uh, photo from a different band photograph from a couple years prior. So to kind of make him still seem like he was part of the fold. But at this point, he was kind of doing American Spring and a couple other projects. So, But he was still kind of contributing like rather minimal uh, stuff. So it's really up to the other guys to really pull through with this record. And inside, what do we have here? Okay, interesting. So we have this insert, which has the album covers of the two respective albums that this set focuses on. So we, here we have Carl and the Passions, and then Holland opens up, and we basically have track list and credits for the main albums in this set, and there is also various credits and such for each of the albums, lists various uh, session players and producers and whatnot as well as an, kind of like an alternate photo from the uh, back cover of the Carl and the Passions album and there's that other cut and paste photo of Brian there and the records come in paper sleeves kind of wish they were polylined and I'm going to try my best to not scuff this thing up let's see what are we dealing with here so Standard black vinyl, and here we have a replication of the Brother Reprise label, but as you can see, it now says Capital. Let's see if you guys can see that. There we go. And looking into the Dead Wax, um, it looks like this was pressed at GZ Vinyl, uh, but there are no indicators as to who did the mastering, so I'm kind of curious as to how this is going to sound. Um, from what I heard um, from the Feel Flow set, which I do own, um, 
there were some complaints of the remastering. Uh, some say it was a bit trebly. Um, hopefully that's not necessarily the case here. Um, not that it, you know, detracted from my enjoyment of the set, but, you know, bring down the treble levels a little bit. But there is Carl and the Passion So Tough. And moving onward, we have the Holland album. On this, of course, we have um, uh, Sail on Sailor. California Saga is good fun. Um, the Trader is a phenomenal track from Carl. Uh, Funky Pretty, Only With You. Steamboat, all good stuff. This is such a solid, solid record here. And inside, we have a lyric insert. This was featured with the original. Which is very cool. And then here is... I'm not going to take the record out of the sleeve because it's probably going to be unison across the board. Uh, this time around, the orange and beige labels are now subdued a bit. Now we have a more kind of brown and beige uh, label there, which is interesting. So there's that. But of course, that is not all that is featured in this. We have the uh, Mount Vernon uh, Fairway EP. This was Brian Wilson's contribution. Very out of place with the rest of the album, but it is featured here. And I think this is the first time that Holland has been like reissued with the 7-inch because the, the other version that's out there is the Analog Productions version, which basically has all these tracks just on one side of an, uh, of an LP. So they went ahead and redid that 7-inch there, which is quite nice. And I guess it's always, um, depending, uh, I guess, where you're located at, there's always that bit of thrill that entails with finding a, a used uh, original of this album with the 7-inch still in there, because most people tend to take them out. But there we have Holland. And now we get to the extra material. So here we have the Beach Boys live at Carnegie Hall, 1972. Um, I think some of this stuff might have been released on various box sets that have come out over the years. Uh, but from what it looks like here, it um, looks like it's they did two sets, judging off of the track list here. So, let me think. Yeah, so there's two sets featured in this set of from the, from the show. So, let's take it out. And they went ahead and did the yellow and beige-ish. Um, labels for the Carnegie Hall stuff. So, for the sake of, sake of showcasing everything, here's the front and here's the back. So, this is for the first set. And then, moving onward, here we have the second LP, and this brings together the um, the second set. Here's the labels on that. Very nice. And then moving on to the last LP. Here we have the third LP of the show. And this brings together the rest of the um, of the second set. And then the side F is uh, dedicated to some of the unreleased tracks. So we have We Got Love, unreleased 2022 mix. Hard Time, previously unreleased. Carry Me Home, unreleased, and Fairy Tale Music, previously unreleased 2022 mix. So we have a couple of bonus cuts here. And that is only a small fraction of um, the bonus stuff that's included uh, within the CD box, which basically has everything. The albums, the Carnegie Hall stuff, a bunch of remixes, acapella, backing tracks, unreleased stuff. Um, if you want everything, then definitely seek out the CD box. So that's all we have here vinyl-wise, but let's move on to the book that is featured here. So here is a great cover for the book, which is the cover of the box, but without the text. Oh, wow, this is cool. I kind of like this uh, 70s-looking design here. That's pretty cool. And moving onward here. So it looks like these liner notes were done by, let's see... Who wrote these? I'm going I'm to find out towards the end of the book. What do we got? I'm going to take a wild stab and say that David Leaf did these. 
Oh, Howie, Howie Edelson did these. My bad. So he went ahead and did the liner notes here. They've changed even more than you. And we have a rather hipster-looking Mike Love with his uh, with the theremin there in the shirt. Crazy outfit. Cool band shot there with uh, Blondie and Ricky. More liner notes. Talking about the two albums featured within the set. Talking about the time frame. Recording outside of California. It's a cool shot of Carl there at the, uh, at the mixing desk. Amazing stuff. A little ad for Holland. Here's the two new guys. There's the tape reel for, uh, for Don't Worry from Mr. Dennis. And then that wraps up the liner notes. And then we have um, some brief uh, producer notes from Mark Linnett and Alan Boyd, um, who are the um, the two audio gurus who basically oversee all Beach Boys projects. They did the Feel Flow set. They did the Smile Sessions, um, the various digital-only releases for Friends and 2020 and whatnot. So they've really had a hands on everything. So that, so that now here we are treated to various looks like si uh, seven inch single sleeves from different countries. So we have ones from France, ones from Germany. Everything's all notated above or below them. Cool live shot of the band there. And then we have some cool individual shots. There's Mike, and then there's also Brian. Got Carl and Dennis. There's uh, Alan and Ricky. And here's Blondie. Ooh, what's that? Brian Wilson drawing from a fairy tale tape box. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Some of Brian Wilson's doodles there. And then. Here we have basically the same credits as they appear uh, with that insert inside of um, Carl and the Passions. Scans of uh, multi-track tapes. So this looks, let me see this. Mess of Hell, Blue from This Town. So this looks, this is for the Carnegie Hall uh, recordings. Scans of the multi-track tape boxes for that. That is very cool indeed. Wow, that's awesome. I guess there were plans to perhaps release this sometime down the line. And then we have a cool live shot of the band as well as another um, scan from the insert from Carl and the Passions. And that is the book. So this is a nice thing to flip through as I uh, listen through all the contents of this set. And I gotta say, like I said, I absolutely love this early 70s era of the Beach Boys like I said it is the tail end of their most creative period in my opinion and um, it's such phenomenal stuff so cannot wait to dig my way through this set and that right there is my unboxing of the Beach Boys Sail on Sailor 1972 vinyl box set if you enjoyed this video please go ahead give it a like and subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video and most importantly keep the record spinning hey.